welcome back um it's been a couple of weeks since the last video um the reason for that is i was waiting for the new car to be delivered um as you've probably seen in the intro um i have a new kona the this is the 2021 um this is the ultimate top of the range edition um so it's the 2021 which is the new facelift mod model and um so there's no sort of uh, fundamental changes between the two cars um other than some co cosmetic changes and um there's been a big change to the driver's display as well which i'll show sh um show you shortly if i can get the words out um so yeah it's initial um appearance is much better um so yeah the big changes that i like externally um mainly are the wheels um much nicer looking they don't look like plastic hubcaps they actually look like nice quality alloys also the bumper um color coding as well so unlike as you would have seen in the previous video in the red car um it had the uh, lots of black plastic and it just made it look cheap but um with all the one color it looks a lot sleeker the new design front end and lights as well um give it a nicer look um a little bit more aggressive a little bit more sporty looking um and another feature is it's got a uh, sunroof as well um i will uh, show you that shortly um when i show you the other features so this video really is just um to go over some of the features that come with the car um so what i'll do is i'll switch over to the other camera and show you um the features so the uh, biggest change on the 2021 facelift model is the driver display so now it has a 10 inch screen um it looks like it's probably the same screen that's used on the infotainment system um, but what that does is it gives a lot more space um, to show more information it's a, it seems a lot brighter as well um, you know as you can see it's um, you know it looks really nice and clear um, and if you change the drive modes the screens will change so this is in the uh, normal mode if we press the button to speed mode you get this nice sort of carbon fiber and red look um, looks really sporty um, and then again if we push it we go back into the eco with the tinges of green and blue um, but very you know very clear and easy to see now the central part is where um, you're able to display different um, information um, as you'll see along the top there's four icons like a little road a car a turn signal and an info so on the car related this is your driving info and within that you can change your set to what you can see as well your drive information um, just a, a digital speedometer energy flow um i don't know why they have these on electric cars i find it absolutely pointless um but yeah the the accumulated info is the one i find the most useful um you know it gives you your miles you're done and also your uh, miles per kilowatt hour so how efficient you are um you've then got the navigation settings um at the moment i've got nothing set onto the navigation but if there was you would see a little mini map with your car and, and the directions that you're going um, you then have the information for car information um, this one just showing tire pressure and then the first one is shows your lane assist so the two lines either side will light up if you're straying across and the um, lane assist kicks in um it's uh got your attention level so basically um this just shows you how often the car has to um 
intercept the steering like going over the the, the lines as I said before um, the speed limit system shows you what the speed limit on the road is so you know there's a lot of imp useful information down at the bottom the blue bar that shows you your regen from the regen brakes um, and on the bottom of the right hand um, you'll see zero to three um, and what this does is shows you what level of regen braking you've got as you can adjust them with the paddles on the steering wheel um, from you know zero one two to three being the um, the greatest regen um, the strongest so for your one pedal braking so yeah that uh, displays looks really nice now the, um, the steering wheel has what you would expect as well um, all your different buttons for controlling the screen in front of you, um, your lane assists. Um, also on here, this mode and the button below, this is for the smart cruise control. Now I won't take you through that because I'll put a link um, above that will um, show, take you to a video that I did in the Hyundai Ionic and I did a more detailed um, video on that there that shows you how it works. But it's a really good function. And then on this side, we have the uh, infotainment and the phone buttons. Now the infotainment is the same as in the last model. Um, there's been no changes at all. I really do like um, the layout and setup on the Kona. Um, the Hyundai seem to do it right. Um, it has physical buttons as well as the touch screen um, which you know obviously when you're driving the physical button so much easier to use so you've got your your map um, which will take you to the map um, obviously click the nav and that gives you all your different options for finding addresses and setting up um, different routes you got your seek and track which is obviously for your radio you got the radio you got the media button so if you've got apple carplay or android auto or if you've plugged your phone into the usb etc um, you can control it through here and then you have the setup um, and this is where you can set up profiles for different drivers and just drill down more granular into different um, setups um, displays on the vehicles what the buttons do and that um, but yeah it's very functional works works well um, one thing I really like about these Konas is it's got a very good sound system um, it's very loud very bassy and it's um, it's by Krell um, it's not a brand that I know but it must be a um, a higher end sort of music system now moving on to climate control i'm pleased to say that it has physical knobs which has been a bugbear in a lot of cars that i've reviewed um only using the touch screen it's so much easier when you've got physical dials for your temperature and then on this side for your speed um it's got uh, full auto climate control also it's got a driver only as well so you can set it so it's just for you if it's only you in the car um which is it's really easy to use it's great blasts out really cold air now further down the um central console we have um what initially looks like an ash what you know in the old school days would have been an ashtray but what this is is this is your charging station so on the left hand side you've got a usb port but on the right hand side, I'll take my phone out. Um, this is a wireless charging pad um, that you get on the Ultimate, which I find is great. You just chuck your phone in there, shut it up. You know, you're not being disturbed by it or, you know, you know, you know what it's like with your phone. You're constantly looking to see if you've got messages or anything. So you can lock it away there, it's being charged. Um, great functionality. Um, what we then got we've then got the um <coughs> gear stick as such <laughs> or gear buttons as it is in electric cars these days so parking neutral 
drive and reverse nothing sort of fancy there come back a little bit further um, we've got the electric parking brake and then the last part here are the rest of the functions um, now on the ultimate on the top of the range you get heated and cooled seats and also you get it for the rear seats as well um, you get heated rear seats um, on here the you can switch the rear view camera on at any time so you can see what's out the back um, you know that can be quite good if it's um, you know your rear windscreen is really dirty or something um, you can have that while you're driving to see what's behind you um, we've got here we've got the steering heater steering wheel heater as well and then we've got the drive modes which I showed you earlier so you can switch between eco plus eco normal and sport now coming back a little further under here um, we've just got a large um, storage box so no other um, charging port though and a couple of cup holders as well another change on the new 2021 is the seats are slightly different um, they've now got um, a slightly different style and design but they've also got a really nice sort of blue accent stitching on them that makes them look a little bit more high-end um, you know they're really comfortable seats and as I say, they've, they're heated and cooled as well. There is one sort of bugbear that I do have, you know, bearing in mind that this is the top of the range ultimate model. And that's the fact that it's full of plastic. Um, and as you can hear, it's that hard, scratchy plastic. There's a little bit of softer stuff there, but everywhere else is hard and scratchy plastic which uh, you know i find is a bit unnecessary and you know they could have put a bit of a better plush material on there to, to make it look a bit more premium now the last um feature on these koners um on the top of the range ones is the heads up display which you can probably just about see um which i find is really good um, and useful so you can keep your eyes on the road but still see information um, your speed, the speed limits, it also gives you your navigation control um, directions on there as well. Yeah, so in general, um, you know, I really like the Kona. Um, I really like the the size and the space, as you would have seen in the, the first video I did. Um, you know, there seems there's plenty of room for a family, there's a big enough boot to, to get everything you need in there as well. Um, and also now on this uh 2021 model they supply a sunroof um which is nice as well um you know especially with summer coming up that will come in handy to have that open rather than the air con which as we know um eats the battery so it is a nicely fitted out and also very well specced car you know with the lane auto lane assist the you know smart cruise controls and all the other features i've showed you um you definitely get some bang for your buck um so you know i hope you've enjoyed the um the video um if you have um don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and hit the notification bell then you'll get notified when the videos are uploaded now I only had this delivered yesterday so I'm going to drive it around for a week and then I'll do another video with an update on the car next week and take you through some of um, my thoughts and overall views of the car. If there's anything you would like me to see, you know, to do or show you in specific, just put it in the comments below um, and I can do a video on that as well. What I might do as well, um, if I get a chance, is take it for a motorway drive. Um, I have been requested to do a 70 mile per hour um, range test on it so I could do that on the motorway and see how uh, many miles we get um, on the motorway. So 
stay safe everyone and I'll see you in the next video.